Hello guys, so we are live uh, at x Market Studio. So today our Monday, 27th of July. So we are heading to the end of the trading weeks for this month on the July. So um, it's very interesting week, especially the gold surge to all time high. And also for the Bitcoins and Ethereum, all are surge to the all time high. So we have the um, COVID-19 um statistics for the global statistics so uh it's almost at the uh 16 million globally all right cases for the covid 19 and uh about daily increase of 152 covid 19 cases increase as uh previously was uh my rec um my monitor was i'm was around 40 to 50 per case per day but now i think it's almost 152 thousand 100 over thousand per day cases of covid 19 confirmed so uh the statistic is at the first um still the united united, united states at almost 4.3 million cases worldwide uh sorry for united states and brazil is the second and india uh, almost 1.4 million right um this is the statistic of covid 19 and we have the debt of covid 19 for the globally almost 653 uh debt because of covid 19 and recovery is almost 10 million cases so uh this is the cases for covid 19 for yes today right so uh here is what you need to know for monday so two main team has played out kicking off this week on monday the goal surge to fresh all-time highs and the continued sell-off in the us dollar across its main competitors so for we will i'll show you the uh, our from our point of view especially dollar index all right so thank you for watching us uh, live and uh, i hope we are we are giving the the latest information on the our technical analysis and also the fundamental analysis for this week so uh please share to uh please help me to share to um, the facebook page all right uh so i hope yep everybody can get some insight on what is happening on this week so uh the market mood remain tepid in light of the worsening u.s china diplomatic ties after beijing retaliate for being ousted from the chinese consulate in houston so u.s secretary of state mike pompeo called for a new alliance of the uh, democracies to oppose china's new tyranny so we have the houston kicking off the china consulates and the China kicking off the U.S. consulate in Chengdu. So, meanwhile, growing economic concern amid a continued rise in the con coronavirus, uh, coronavirus across the U.S. undermined the U.S. currencies. So, according to data compiled by John Hopkins University, called, uh, global confirmed coronavirus infection passed 16 million on Sunday, with f almost 4 million in U.S. So, uh, additionally, the deadlock over the fiscal stimulus in Washington exacerbated the pain in the greenback so we can see uh, what is happening on the greenback uh, especially uh, since the early of the July um, they are starting to sell off the US dollar so uh, while so uh, White House Chief of State Meadows announced late Sunday that WH and Senate Republican had reached agreement in principle on the next coronavirus aid bill US Treasury Secretary Munich say the say the package will contain extended unemployment benefits with a 70 percent wage replacement so uh we have the gold outperform among all the other major asset classes as investor flock to the traditional safety the yellow metal rally and nearly uh two percent in asia to fresh record high of almost 1990 uh 1944.76 per ounce and silver Tag along and reach a new 6.5 year high of 24.25 um, for silver and the S&P 500 futures struck off the US China field and jumped back above the 3200 uh, level while Asian stock were mixed back step, stepping into the Fed weeks and um, so we have the exciting news 
high impact news on this week, especially on the FOMC statement uh, and the federal fund run uh, fund rates. All right, the interest rate on Thursday to in the morning, and also and also, uh, and also the FOMC press conference. And um, yeah, on also on Wednesday we have the all the uh, high impact news, right? And of course uh, on the Wednesday at 10 p.m. we have the pending home sales. Um, and of course the on Thursday we also have the uh, Eurozone, right? Okay, so just be aware on Thursday, especially uh, starting off Wednesday to Thursday, right? We have the high impact news especially on the uh, FOMC all right uh, on Friday we have, we have also the uh, China manufacturing PMI and uh, yep and also on Friday we have the Eurozone and the Canadian uni all right on the GDP at 8 30 p.m. all right so starting off uh, Wednesday Thursday and Friday um I could see the high volatility 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 uh, volatility is going to happen on this uh towards the end of the trading weeks right especially the month end so uh all right so let's start with the the analysis that I already prepared for today right so especially on the US dollar index so we have the uh, downtrend so we are looking at price heading lead, uh, key level support at 3.82 Fibo retracement level as price heading towards lower quite a strong downtrend with heavy sell-off happening to US dollar so this week we might see uh, a continuous movement trading towards the key level right for a retracement and this will apply uh, to almost most of the major pairs especially uh, spot go okay and so on the weekly charting we also have the price nearing towards 2.618 FIBO retracement level so uh yes let's have a look at the um weekly chart right so okay. so this is our weekly um charting for the us dollar index let's have a look Right, so price is currently is heading towards the 2.618 uh, retracement level. So we are we might see an uh, retracement, uh, especially on this level. Right, so uh, this is our weekly charting. So yep, it's clearly price is heading lower. So uh, yep, this is where we predict that the price is going to do a retracement on this level. Right, so this is the um, four hours and for this week um, on the US dollar so US dollar is, st uh, is still on the sell-off so it will affect most of the major pairs so next we let's have a look on the spot goal so we have the spot goal so I have, we have made this analysis earlier right so we just uh, just brief on what is going to happen all right especially for this week so for spot goal so we have the spot goal charting uh, trending on strong bullish movement and we are expecting a retracement on the resistant area all right this, uh, this is the retrace, uh, resistance on the 3.8 FIBO key level nearing towards 2000 per ounce so however price is making all-time high so it's very very risky to uh, for any short position so we are looking at bull trend so gold has printed a new lifetime high near 1950 surpassing the previous record price reach in September 2011 so the metal has rallied over 25% this year with the US Federal Reserve unprecedented money printing pushing inflation adjusted yield on treasury to negative territories so this is the uh, for this week and this is for the spot gold so let's head for the weekly so that's what what we have for you guys for the weekly um, yep so we have shared this earlier or right, since the early of the i think on the early of the last month 
mid of last month so price is currently heading towards 2000 per ounce so um yep it's very clearly that uh, it's trying to reach the next resistance level on the 3.82 especially on the 2000 uh, per ounce right so basically um, goldman sachs right uh, jp morgan and most of the big players are predicting that price is moving towards 2000 per ounce right so this is the analysis for spot gold for this week so we are still at uh, looking at the long position all right um, it's a very very strong momentum and strong bullish trend so please be aware on your positions all right so the next we will hit for the euro us dollar so for the euro us dollar uh, we have the price cross above 1.17 for the first time in 22 months taking the cumulative month to date gain 4.23 percent right so the american dollar is being sell uh sold off across the board amid goals rally to record highs above the september 11 high of uh, at 1920 dollar per ounce so we have the charting for euro us dollar for this week so we are looking at a uh, uh, bullish trend right and uh, currently price is currently trading out of the box and we are expecting a continuous strong bullish trend moving towards the 3.28 FIBO retracement uh, key resistance level the, till end of this month so especially till on end of this week so and we let's uh, share on our weekly on the euro US dollar right so for the weekly on euro US dollar yes we are looking at the godly pattern so price is almost reaching to the resistance level all right uh, we are looking at price to entering the next level on the channel yes this is our weekly charting and yep it's clearly is heading towards the next key level of resistance and the trend is the trend is bullish so uh just be aware on your position uh, especially uh, it's a very strong momentum just um, go for long right so the position should be at long and especially most of the players are selling off the US dollar so uh, we head towards the next analysis uh, we have the pound US dollar so for the pound US dollar yes we have the pound rise to the highest level since March 12 and acceptance above 1.2800 June 10 high will likely cause more buyers to join the market, leading stronger gains towards uh, 1.3, uh, 1.20, 1.2300 1 Alright, so this is the next key level. Alright, so price is on the bullish uptrend and heading towards up upper line. So clearly a trend, a trending market is going on and expecting to hit upper line resistant key level as dollar weaknesses across the board so guys we have already posted this analysis to our telegram channel and our, our website so just please um, have a look at our, our market analysis for this week right so this is the pound as well so let's head for the uh, weekly chart for the pound right so yep we are looking at the price uh, heading towards the upper line yes and yep it's clearly is heading towards the upper line so uh, moving across the board the big players are selling off the us dollar so uh, it's opportunity to bought uh, uh, to buy uh, all the other currencies all right especially the major currencies so uh, this is the pound us dollar so we are looking towards the upper line all right this this key level resistance key level so for the next analysis we have the aussie dollar right so this analysis uh, we have made uh, this afternoon so we just started our live uh, and we just do a brief what is going to happen for this week so especially for all the major pairs so we have the aussie us dollar right so aussie fill the bearish opening gap uh, extending the bounce towards uh, 0 0.7000 150 so the LZ is underpinned by the relentlessly US dollar sell-off across the board amid a mixed market mood so upbeat China China uh, Chinese industrial profits data and RBA can speech so we are looking at the next key level at the resistance so price has made the reversal 
uh, around these median lines and reverse back towards uh, upper lines. So this is what we call uh, as the Hagopian rules and we are targeting the movement is heading to the key level resistance on the upper line. Right, so this is for the Aussie dollar. So let's head for the uh, weekly chart. So if you are swing traders, so it's, um, it's very suitable for you to look at the 4 hours and the uh, weekly chart. So for we have the Auss uh, Aussie dollar on the weekly. Yes, it's clearly the price is heading towards the next resistance level. And this is the confirmation of the EMA 200, right? The moving average. So it's very, very strong resistance is around here. So any price is breaking above this uh, 2.618 resistance level. So we might see another uh, channel on this area. So this is might be, might be the next key level, right? So on the 3.3, 3.82 resistance level. So when price entering to the new channel so we are looking at the next resistance is at 3.82 right so it's around 0 0.3000 sorry 0 0.73 uh, 0 0.73000 uh, level right the price so uh, this is for the Aussie dollar so we have the next analysis on the US dollar Japan right the dollar yen so for the dollar yen we have uh, we look at the floating around with four months low just below above uh, 106.50 amidst broad US dollar weaknesses so last week this week we are selling off the dollar so please focus on the uh, other major, major pairs so we are shorting the dollars and we are going long for the other currencies so uh, gold relentlessly rarely keeps the greenback under pressure so BOJ expect the Japanese economy to improve in the second half of this year so price is currently trading out of the box and we are expecting heading low, uh, lower right, towards the 3.82 key level support so this is the next key level support of, of the retracement so we have the price uh, heading lower right, so um this is the key level support uh this is 2.618 support level and the next support level is 3.28 support level so any anything price break below so uh we can see the price is going to hit uh, further lower All right so let's head to the uh weekly weekly chart for the dollar yen so right so we have keep this charting for the weekly uh, almost four years right so we just uh, stick with the same charting and we are looking at the US dollar yen price is heading lower towards the lower line so uh, high probability the price will retest, re retest again uh, retest, uh, sorry, retest again the previous low right so we have the previous low so uh, based on the history on the let's have a look at the um, what is happening on the 2018 so uh yep let's have a look on the the old data especially on the previous uh crash on the 1990 sorry we have up to we have we don't have the 97 we have the 2008 data so yes yep uh high probability high probability the price uh, is heading towards lower around um about 98 around 100 around this level right so let's focus at around this uh towards this level at uh, 100 right so yep with the global economic situation on the covid 19 so we are looking at prices going heading lower so anything could happen and yep in yes it's clearly on the bearish uh, candle all right uh i think this is almost uh, Marobozu uh, on the weekly, all right. So, if you are aware, yes, uh, yep, Marobozu candle, all right. So, uh, this is for the US dollar Japan. So, let's head for the next NBCs. So, we have the US dollar Canadian, US dollar Canadian, Canadian dollar, the Luni. So, uh, US dollar Canada has pushed 0 0.2 percent higher on Friday, but it's Still, it is still a pretty bearish week. 
So the, uh, uh, the oil price has also suffered and the risk team has supported the move higher in the pair. So price is also trading out of the box and we are expecting movement still consolidating, uh, consolidating all right, still in on the range trading. But a uh, break below the <coughs> the previous uh, support on the 1.33500, we're heading lower towards the next key level at the 2.618 support uh, FIBO retracement level so this is will be the next key level of the support right for this week so let's have a look let's have a look <coughs> on the US dollar Canada uh, on the weekly chart so I think yep we are also looking at the price uh, heading lower towards the next key level at 2.618 the support level right so uh, price is already break below the previous uh, support so we are looking at the next uh, key level at the 2.618 2.618 support key level all right so this is will be the next uh, retracement level all right so this is the US dollar Canadian US dollar versus the Canadian dollar all right so uh, let's head to the next uh, analysis for <coughs> the US oil so guys you have if you have any question you can just uh, direct us right you um, <coughs> message me and ask about the analysis right I'm we are happy to help you on uh, how to trade on this week all right so we have the next analysis is on the US uh, crude oil so US uh, WTI futures on NYMEX has bounced off a dip below 41 uh, dollar per barrel marks and remains on track to book the third straight monthly monthly rise so further upsides however they remains at the mercy of the broader market sentiment and the US supply side scenario so price is hovering around the median lines level and looking a range trade towards a support line key level on for this week a break below uh, below this lower line uh, there will be a confirmation of the